Buongiorno ragazzi, sono la vostra prof e adesso parliamo dell'imperfetto. L'imperfetto is a past tense and we usually pair it with the passato prossimo. But right now I just want to focus on the imperfetto. First of all, let's see how we build it and then we'll see how we use it. So, l'imperfetto, it's a nice verb because you always have the same three endings for are, ere, either verbs. Okay, so once you learn the endings, it, they will apply to all three categories, first, second, and third conjugation. Isk is not an issue. Uh, this verb is a self-standing verb. It does not have a helping verb, also known as an auxiliary verb. And so this is how you may build it. You have learned that you always remove are, ere, and ire. This time we'll do it differently. We just get rid of the re. Just re. And then you build from there. So, lavoravo, lavoravi, lavorava, lavoravamo, lavoravate, lavoravano. Scrivevo, scrivevi, scriveva, scrivevamo, scrivevate, scrivevano. Dormivo, dormivi, dormiva, dormivamo, dormivate. E dormivano. There are very few irregular imperfect verbs and these are the ones we're learning. So the endings are going to be the same. So we're just working off the root basically apart from this one that's always crazy. The verb to be, essere, ero, eri, era, eravamo, eravate, erano, dire, to say, dicevo, dicevi, Oops. Dicevo, dicevi, diceva. Dicevamo, dicevate, dicevano. To do or to make, fare. Now, this really does match the present tense variation and like the dire. So all of these do follow uh, the present tense variation. So facevo, facevi, faceva, facevamo, facevate e facevano. Last one. To drink, bevevo, bevevi, beveva, bevevamo, bevevate, e bevevano. In general, the um, imperfect is used for general events that happened in the past. And I have a list of keywords that might be helpful to you while using the imperfect or to recognize when you need an imperfect. Spesso, often, sempre, always, di solito, usually, usualmente, usually, in generale, in general, per molti anni, for many years, molte volte, many times, tutti i giorni, tutte le sere, or every day, but notice tutti, once plural, and the article, tutti i giorni, tutte le sere, instead each day, each night, ogni, one singular, ogni giorno, ogni sera. And then we have the article, plus a day of the week, which means every. Il lunedì, il martedì, il mercoledì, means each Monday, each Tuesday. So just by looking at these keywords, you can see that in general, the imperfect is used for things that happen in the past with no specific setting. So often, so, and it's, there's a repetition, and look for many years in general. So this is the sense of the imperfect. The setting in time is not perfect. You don't really know. It's not at three o'clock exactly. And so what to say in general? And it often has to do with childhood, with things that in the past were repeated in repetitions and stories and actions that take place a long time ago and descriptions in the past. You can't really set descriptions in time. So this is imperfect.